They finally released the security notes on what was fixed. And if you have not updated this yet, I highly recommend that you do it as quickly as possible because there was a fairly big security flaw that was fixed in this. And I also believe that is why Apple kept it quiet in the beginning on what was actually fixed. So if we go into the settings app, and you just go into general and software update just to make sure that you have the update installed. You can see right here that I do. I have iOS 17.4.1. But if you want to see what is new in this build, you can go into about and just tap on the 17.4.1 right there. And then there's a little link right here that will take you to the website that you can just scroll down and right in here you'll see it again 17.4.1 tap right there and this is where you actually get the info on what was changed so if i scroll down here you can see there was two security updates that they are they're at least mentioning in this and both of them have to do with images so processing an image may lead to arbitrary code execution so what does that mean exactly well what that means is that when you're loading an image either through core media or even through the web with the web rtc codex that means that there could actually be malice code embedded into that image that could then run and kind of result in a a fairly big security issue with your phone now it doesn't go into much detail on what could actually happen all it says is an out of bounds right issue was addressed um, with improved input validation. So they're really not giving us too much detail on what actually could be executed with this code. If it's in the wrong hands, you know that somebody could actually use it to probably cause some pretty bad damage. So if you are on the beta currently or are not, and you do see this update, I highly recommend that you get this update as quick as possible. So that is the main thing with this update, but there are a few other things that I have seen that seem to be improved with iOS 17.4.1. So Apple had originally also reported that there was a fix for iPads. So if you're scanning like a QR code, that will now work if you had an issue with those before. That really only affected the iPad 6th and 7th generation, the iPad Pro 2nd generation, and the iPad Pro 10.5, I believe, is what they had listed in the specs for what got updated. So if you did have that QR code issue with your iPad, that should now be fixed in the latest update as well. There was also an issue that some people had that they don't seem to have any more with alarms not sounding. So if you go into the clock and you use the clock as your alarm system, I use it all the time, there was an issue that sometimes it didn't make a sound when the alarm actually went off. So this was also fixed in this update, or at least appears to be fixed for those that were having that problem. Another issue that people seem to be fixed and I'm not seeing it anymore is the notification animation. When you would swipe in to your notifications, originally they would be a little blocky at first and then round off after that. That all seems to be fixed now. Everything seems to scroll through just fine. No issues there anymore, at least that I have been seeing. So if you see that as well, just let me know if you see that issue still. But so far, everything seems to be working great with that being fixed as well. Some users report that their AirPods do connect faster than they used to, and they don't have as many connection issues that they were having before. I've currently not had any problems with that, so I've not seen the issue to begin with. Mine still work fine. And so if you did have that issue, this is also another possible improvement that you may see so there are still possibly a few bugs in 17.4.1. One of them that I have not experienced myself is when you're going into a video, you know, it plays smoothly, but if you go through and you try to scroll, a lot of people are seeing some kind of choppy video. Mine, like, I mean, maybe it's just the type of video that I've been testing. They seem to be moving pretty smoothly with no issues. So I'm not personally seeing that bug, but I know it has been reported as an issue. Keep that in mind if you do happen to see that. But so far with everything that I've seen, 
I think it looks smooth as can be when scrubbing through a video. Another issue that people have reported having is with standby mode. So if I pop my phone right in here, it should go into standby. Apparently, if I go in here and try to change the color of a clock, so right here, this should have the option to change color. So let's just go ahead and change it to green. Once that color has been set, apparently people are having issues changing the color again. So if I go in here and I tap and hold, it does absolutely nothing. I cannot go into an edit mode at all. This one I still can. And then if I come back into this one, you will see that little button is gone now. I can no longer edit the color of this clock. So I'll repeat that one more time. So right here, if I go in here, I change the color of this one. Let's say I want purple. Go in here, I close out the color. Right now I can still change the color, but once I tap right here, now if I try to go back into edit, that little color option is no longer there. So just keep that in mind. If you're somebody that wants to set a color, make sure you set the right one because in 17.4.1, you will not be able to change it afterwards. Another bug that was mentioned is something with the Files app. People have seen it being kind of sluggish and having issues. I personally have not had any issues. I don't really use it on my iPhone very often though. I use it more on my iPad, which I transfer files back and forth between it and my Mac all the time with no with no problem. So if you are seeing an issue there, I did hear that there was a Mac OS bug with files. I didn't really dive too deep in that because I don't normally cover Mac OS, but I think I read something about the versionings of files being kind of wiped. I believe a Mac OS update was released today, so hopefully that fixed that issue and maybe files will work great on the iPhone for those having the issue as well. Overall performance on 17.4.1 has been perfectly fine for me. I have no issues scrolling through apps, finding the app that I want. Launching apps have been great, no issues there. Um, the apps that I use, I have no issues with them. Battery life has also been pretty great. Today was a weird day. I was traveling a lot, so I had it actually plugged in off and on as I traveled, so you can kind of see up and down for the battery level today. My battery health is normal and my maximum capacity is still at 100. It looks like I'm at 154 cycles so far. If you are a little bit lower than the 100%, I wouldn't be too worried with that. I mean, overall battery life has been great with this build. I've got it on day one, so I've had it over the weekend and I've had no issues making it through a day which seems pretty normal for me. So should you update, I highly recommend that you do just based on that little exploit with the images. I mean, that could be either in an app or on a website to run that code. I wouldn't panic about it. Most likely it's not widespread and anything they're doing, who knows how far it could go, but you're probably not gonna run into it unless you keep waiting on updating. If you go ahead and update, I would say you should be fine. Make sure you update your iPads as well if you have those. Now, the next beta update, the 17.5, could come out today. Today, the, this video's posting will be on the 26th. If it doesn't come out then, most likely it won't be until probably the first week of April. The original rumors also pointed to today for the new iPad release, so something with that may have also held back the 17.5, maybe there was stuff in there about them and they pushed those back. So maybe they're also pushing back the 17.5 beta as well. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see. I wouldn't expect, if we don't see an update today in the betas for 17.5, I wouldn't expect to see one this week with Easter just around the corner probably be sometime in the first week or maybe even the second week of April. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.